Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we are going to do is explore tension and how adding tension to our body can change the way we experience the world and can also change the way your character experiences a situation. Now Jacques Lecoq was one of the most famous acting teachers, especially with physical theater and mime work. And he created a system of seven different levels of tension that every character will experience within a play. And every human being also experiences these seven different levels depending on the situation that you're in. But we're gonna start with the first because it's a spectrum and we're gonna go all the way through. So I want you to join this activity with me and then what you're going to do is upload your own experiences later. So let's get started. The first level of the seven levels of tension is no tension. Absolutely no tension at all. So you are going to be at complete exhaustion or catatonic. So think about the times where you would have no tension in your body. What would you be like? You'd be like a wet noodle. You'd be lifeless. You'd be laying on the ground and everything, even moving, moving your mouth takes tension. And so it would be a struggle just to talk. So I want you to lay on the floor, relax and melt into the ground, and then try to talk. And I want you to think about what kind of characters would be in this situation. Maybe you're exhausted. Maybe you're in a coma or just coming out of a coma. Maybe your character is drugged and they're stuck, but they're trying really hard to communicate, to move, to do something. Good. Explore that, say a couple lines, and then we're gonna move to the next. Our second level of tension is going to be laid back. This is when you have enough tension for you to move throughout the space, but you're still really relaxed. Think about these days where you didn't get enough sleep and you're just extra tired. And so you're moving, but you're just kind of like sluggish, right? Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Or maybe you're kind of like the Californian. It's going to be that kind of loose, the looseness of moving around the space. Now I want you to move throughout the space. I want you to interact with the world, but I want you to have a lot of just relaxation in your movements and see what kind of characters come up. What kind of characters does your body have in its reservoir of characters that are gonna come out of this type of tension? See what it feels like. Next, what we are going to do is neutral. The third level is neutral. This is where your body is just energized enough to move wherever it needs to. It's not over-energized, it's not under-energized. Your body is at its most economic. That means that there's no effort. You're going to put just enough effort to finish whatever task that you are in. This is going to be the way you feel on a really good day. On a good day, on a normal day, you're going to be walking through the world. As opposed to when you were laid back and maybe that was you getting in a hot tub or finishing an exam and they're finally able to relieve all of this tension that you've been holding on to. But this is your normal day of living. When you're acting, this is what we would call actor neutral. This is you completely aligned. You're moving throughout the space, but you want to live here because everything is going to be built off of this state of being. So move throughout the space. Good. Next, the fourth level of tension is alert. So imagine that you are in your actor neutral. You're moving throughout the space, but then you hear a balloon pop or maybe a gunshot. 
and your body is adding in a little bit more tension and so you're just more alert and aware of your surroundings. your senses are heightened. You're going to be able to hear things just a little bit more. You're aware of the world around you just a little bit more. This is where you want to start your performance because this is going to be you at your most electric and excited, but there's, you are all potential energy at this point. What you're doing is you are a battery that's charged and ready to go. You are super alert. Now, this may be you sitting down next to somebody who's really attractive. Your senses are heightened because of the person who's near you. Or maybe you're getting ready for a sporting event and you're just getting geared up and it hasn't started yet. You're not expending any energy, but you're also fully charged and ready to go for a big event. Now move throughout the space and I want you to see what characters you come up with. Good. Next, what we have is suspense. Suspenseful or really, really charged. So what we're taking is all of that battery that you've just kind of charged up and now you're really tense. Now you're being chased. Now you're in the middle of the game. Now you're really stressed out. You are on your way to take a final exam that you haven't studied for, or you've been studying for, but your body is really tense, you're ready to go. I want you to also think about maybe if you've ever been to a party and there's those people that show up and they're just ready to fight. They're looking for a fight everywhere they go. That, that is the kind of person that you are. You are in the extreme. Now you're starting, like you're, you would be more panicked. This is you really in a fight or flight sense of your body. Your body is filled with tension, you're ready to go, you're on the move, you're on the attack. So start moving throughout the space. You're gonna feel like a tiger. So move throughout the space, see how you feel, see what characters you come up with. Good. Next, what we have is the passionate or operatic, right? So now what we're doing is we're gonna go really big. So I want you to think of like Al Pacino in movies where he's screaming and going crazy. Give me all you got! Give me all you got! It was not what I wanted! Or have you ever been so filled with stress that you just screamed out, ah! but everything was big? You know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Peter. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Peter. Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z! Let's say you go and shut the door, boom, and it slams, right? You're not shutting the door, you're slamming the door. Everything is very big, it's very full, and I want you to move throughout the space. If you've ever watched an opera singer, everything is big. And so move throughout the space and explore what that is like, but you are filled with tension. You're still able to move, but like, this would be full fight mode. Everything is about as tense as it could possibly get because the stakes are sky high, right? This is the climax of your movie. And finally, what we are gonna do is hit extreme tension, level seven. And this is where your body is so filled with tension. I want you to flex, start off and just tense up every muscle in your body and you can't even move. <laughs> because you're so filled with tension. This is the moment in a Greek tragedy, this is that tragic moment where everything is taken from you and you're just you can't move because you're so filled with the stress. This is that moment when Oedipus finds out that he's married his mom and killed his father. 
This is that moment where Jason or Medea both realize when, that Medea has killed their children. And this is that moment. It's very rare that you would get to this and it's only in the films, it's only in the plays with the highest stakes. Now, relax. Every time you take on a script, your character is living somewhere in that tension, in those seven levels. And the, the further you get into the play, the higher that tension rises because the stakes are rising. If it's not, then you need to look at your own technique and, and maybe you need to amp up that script because that script is not giving you enough to, be, to have at stake because your audience and your character and you should all be ratcheting up so that when the climax hits, all of us go, Whew, that was an experience. What I want you to do is I want you to go and find some type of normal household activity. It could be picking up a glass of water. It could be picking up keys. It could be shutting a door, don't break anything. But what I want you to do is I want you to do that same activity at, at the seven different levels. And I want you to record it. I want you to post it so that we can all see it. And then I want you to watch other classmates do the same thing and we can see just how that one activity can change based on the levels of tension we put into it. And then I want you to respond to your classmates and we can all learn from each other. All right, everybody, this was a fun lesson. I can't wait to see what you show me and I'll see you soon.